Are there any warning signs that are not so obvious, Christine? Well, there certainly are. And if you think about it, we're socialized to not show our true distress that's going on on the inside. And particularly when you become suicidal, you're not in your rational mind in the same way. And that sense of shame and stigma can even be greater for the very person who is suffering. So we need to understand that if you're noticing changes in behavior pattern that just strike you as outside the norm, I would move closer to the person. I would ask if they're okay and, and really make time to listen, like has been discussed. Keto's talking about that earlier. Um, don't offer quick fixes. Don't minimize their problem, but really invite more conversation. So, so the typical changes of warning signs we know about, withdrawing, isolating, increasing substance use, but I think sometimes we forget that depression and suffering can come out as anger, agitation, short fuse. And, and which traditionally really has a more disciplinary approach. We think the person's just acting out and behaving badly. When many, many people, when they become distressed, that might be some of the first change that they, that they um, manifest. If it's your loved one in your home, I would also be looking for things like physiological changes, changes in sleep patterns, eating patterns, their usual day-to-day -day behavior. We, we do have free will and we like to think of ourselves as having a lot of autonomy, but the reality is our behavior patterns stay within a pretty, um, pretty strict range. And when your gut instinct tells you they're just not themselves, I would pay attention to that. Never miss a beat. Subscribe to Larry King now and watch new episodes every day.